Hi, it's Nick from Nick's Nutrition and in this video I'm going to talk you through my top 10 tips on how to avoid summer holiday weight gain. So tip number one is to start the day right. So start the day as you mean to go on with a healthy breakfast. When it comes to breakfast, think protein and fresh produce, so protein and fiber. Whether it be yogurt with fruit or scrambled eggs with rye bread and some mushrooms and tomatoes. This combination will help to keep you feeling fuller for longer and you'll be guaranteed to be feeling a lot better than if you had a greasy fry up. Tip number two is to keep hydrated. So if it's warmer outside or if you're walking about more than usual, then you will need to drink more. Water is of course going to be the best thing, but you can flavor it with some lemon or some strawberries. Or what I like to do is fill up a little glass with either some fresh fruit smoothie or some fruit, um, add a load of ice, then add some fizzy water, give it a stir, and it makes it like a fresh fruit cocktail. It tastes amazing. A really easy way to tell if you're hydrated, and I mentioned this in my detox water video, is just to check the colour of your wheat. If it's a pale straw colour, then great, and if it's any darker, then you need to drink more. Tip number three is to move your body. So if you're like me and live in a relatively cold climate, then take advantage of the sunny weather. Get out, do some walking, do some swimming, have some fun with it, play bat and ball. Try and get in at least 20 minutes of exercise every single day and this will help to keep your body moving and you'll be burning calories at the same time. Tip number four is to limit your frozen treats or just to choose wisely. So often when we go on holiday, we almost think of it like a calorie free for all. So we eat as many ice creams as possible. Try and limit your frozen treats to you know, a maximum of one a day. And if you are having them daily, then you may want to consider going for the 100 calorie or less options. Most ice creams have actually got the calories now written on them on the front in a little white box. Or if you're getting scoops of ice cream, then why not just go for one scoop instead of two or even share? Tip number five is to carry on with your regular meals. So although your appetite might be slightly lower on holiday due to the heat, it's still really important that, that you do have your breakfast, lunch and evening meal. Eating lunch, so for example, a beautiful salad with some protein such as some fresh fish will help to hydrate you from the inside out as well as nourishing you. And it will also help to control your hunger levels for the afternoon too. Tip number six is to go easy on the bread basket. So uh, if you're anything like me, then you'll love to eat out on an evening. However, if you are racking up um, on the number of pieces of bread that you're eating with a lot of butter, you can actually be eating the same amount of calories from bread as you are from a meal. So my advice would be to set yourself a limit before you sit down. So for example, one pieces or two. And if you really can't resist the bread basket because it's in front of you, simply ask the waiter to take it away. Tip number seven is to choose your villa or apartment snacks wisely. So if you are going for the family bags of crisps and sweets, maybe portion them out into a little bowl first before you start munching. Research has shown that if you serve food from bigger packets, then you tend to eat more. My advice would also be to take advantage of the local fruit. So for example, get a melon, chop it up. A melon will be so much more hydrating and it will also nourish you from the inside out as well. Tip number eight is to indulge in some me time. So take time to relax, whether it be listening to your favorite music, or I actually really enjoy reading the books that I've been meaning to get around to. I personally like the more self-help type of books, um, and I'll put the ones that I personally recommend in the comments bar below. Tip number nine is to learn some of the local language. So especially if you're eating out in restaurants or if you're buying food from a supermarket, you might want to avoid certain foods or you might be on the lookout for certain foods. So for example, when I'm abroad, I love to eat fish. It's really nice just to have a few phrases just to say to the waiter or the shop assistant, just to help you choose the right foods that are right for you. Tip number 10, which is my final tip, is to have fun. Holidays are meant for relaxing and having fun and just a time to get away stress-free. I for one live by the 80-20 rule where nothing is planned and if say I've been super healthy leading up to my holiday I might just want to relax and just eat and drink whatever I want or I might choose to maybe spend the day eating healthily and then the night time I'll just eat and drink whatever I want. However you decide to divide up the 80-20 rule so if you live in your life 80% healthy you can afford to indulge the 20% it's completely fine. It's your life and your rules. So I really hope that you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have. And do leave in the comments bar below your top tips on how to avoid your holiday weight gain.